with the specifics of the law to begin with. Mm. I quoted you, you know, the fact that a convicted male sex offender mm. can, che can yes, redesignate. It's, uh, yeah. um, it's bad law, isn't mm. it? Um, well, leaving aside uh, whether it is or whether it isn't, it's certainly a mess now. It's a mess. And it's a mess because the Scottish Bill uh, puts the legal provisions in direct conflict, as you said, with the Equalities Act mm. of, of 2010. Now, um, it's, it's obvious, isn't it, that we're one country and you can't have two different laws that are in conflict with each other in the same country. Uh, there's lots of examples of where, the, in fact, the British government set it out today where the precise conflicts are, and there are many of them, single-sex clubs, single-sex schools, for instance. I mean, I live in Northumberland. Um, there's a, quite a big town on the, on the north edge of our county, which is Berwick. Mm -hmm. It's a travel-to-work area. So, yeah. Yeah. theoretically, you know, someone could, could self-identify at 16 uh, for a different sex, a legal sex would be granted, cross the border into Northumberland, should Northumberland accept that. And I think that this has been done deliberately by Sturgeon. So you think Sturgeon is stirring the pot here? I, yes, I mean, it's impossible. This will be worked out in the court. It'll probably go to the court of session, and then it'll end up at the Supreme Court. And I think Sunak is on a winner because it's quite clear that it's in conflict, right? And you can't strike out the 20... Whatever you think of the 2010 Equality Act, you can't strike it out, right? So I think Sunak will win. Uh, was he brave in doing this? I think he had to do it. I mean... Well, in a way, wasn't it interesting mm. that it was Keir Starmer mm. who over the weekend said he thought it was wrong for 16-year-olds to be able to change their gender? So mm. I wonder whether, in some ways, the Labour Party helped push him into this. You could probably argue that. I mean, I, I think... I just... I don't think they're being particularly brave, Nigel. I think what's happening is that they, they've been put into a situation... Look... We've had devolution for decades now, right? Mm -hmm. So it's the, uh, you know, the, the Scotland Act goes back to, to the 90s. And never in any occasion previous to this has Holyrood deliberately drafted a bill which is knowingly, and I use the word knowingly, mm. in conflict with UK okay. law. And they've done it. Now, do you think that Sturgeon's done that by accident? I don't. 